tackle that put an end to the playing future of a young Sydney rugby league footballer. 21-year-old Greg Buckley was carried from the field with massive brain damage. They never play a game, but a remarkable will to win and a loving family have helped to work a medical miracle. Lee Hatcher again caught up with the young miracle worker. I saw it on a videotape. It really quite um, shocked me because I couldn't believe how hard I hit the ground. It was sickening to watch. They kept Greg Buckley on the ground for an hour to stabilise his condition. He was then flown by helicopter to hospital. Greg was in a coma for six weeks, although his mother never lost her faith. Greg has had so many prayers said for him in the last six weeks. There is no way those prayers aren't going to be answered. Greg's the miracle that everybody pray for. The Greg Buckley story is a great one to tell. Within 12 months, he went from this, a robust 19-year-old, to this. And today, his recovery has stunned everyone. He still has a slight paralysis down his left side, but he is truly a miracle. Super, super fortunate. Super, it just, I don't realise how lucky I am sometimes. What do you think when you see the video that you have of the story that we did last year? When you see yourself like that, what do you what do you think now? I really I really look at it and I say, what a vegetable! Because I, I mean, to look at it, I really was, and I think I'm probably the only one that could say that about myself. You know, anyone to say, I'm oh, looking at a veggie, and I was, I was a real vegetable, and it's it's really good for me to to go back that far. It's really good for me to be able to see what I was like, to see how far I've come. A year ago, the prognosis wasn't very good at all. Slow, it's always slow. Yes. Yes, and it's going to uh, be a very slow progress, as it always is with such a severe injury. And today? Um, we've got a patient who had a similar sort of injury at football, same sort of forces involved, had about the same time as Greg's, and that person still has no memory for day-to-day -day things and uh, is unable to stand or walk. Last year's grand final was the big turning point for Greg Buckley. Victory for his beloved Canterbury started to bring him out of his coma. I have this memory of my father saying to me, oh, we're going to buy you a colour TV so you can watch the grand final. I can remember sitting in, sitting in, in, in the, that water chair in front of the television with my mum on one side and my girlfriend on the other, and they were passing a drink across in front of me, which I didn't think was, was very nice. But um, I, I definitely I remember that sort of... From, from that day on in, I, I have pretty concrete memories of most things. Greg's obsession with football hasn't waned and he's philosophical about football injuries. I played football, I knew the risks, and I just copped it on the chin, more or less, literally. You know, I think that, you know, it was something special, something out, out of the blue. And, um, well, I, I'm all for football. I, I love the game. You can't get me away from it. And it's that sort of enthusiasm and drive that's seen him through the past year. I think he's pushed them to where they've allowed him to do things sooner than they probably would have just to shut him up and get them out of his, his hair, their hair. What would you say you've learnt out of this year? What I've learnt? Um, patience, definitely patience. It's, put more, it's like this um, huge big bag of patience being thrown on top of you and say, here, get out under this, do your best, you know? And certainly at Christmas time, if you told me he was driving, um, I'd have laughed at you because he was still in a wheelchair. Greg has just got his licence back, thanks to a tremendous new disabled driving course run by the Cumberland College Driver Rehabilitation Centre. Greg Buckley is now about to put the icing on the cake. In a couple of weeks, he'll be returning to nursing school to resume a course that will see him back in hospital working. All he says, thanks to his mum. She's been an absolute rock. An absolute rock. There's no other word for it. She's just been uh, the driving force behind me. You see so many bad things and you hear so many bad things and something like this happens and the good things come out of it. Lovely story. Human effort, love, support and determination. Good luck to you, Greg. Keep it up.